guys, welcome back to Beauty on Monday where we do bomb things on a Monday. Jasmine here and I swear I just got this video in by the skin of my teeth. I've been super busy. Um, however, I just want to try to stay consistent as possible so you guys can have a great start to your week with some fabulous beauty tips. So jumping right into it, um, today I'm going to be sharing with you my summer skincare routine or my sun care routine. Um, I love to be outdoors. But you know, when you're outdoors, you're exposed to those harmful UV rays. So I just wanna share some products and some tips that I like to use to protect myself from those damaging rays that cause wrinkles, ladies. We don't want wrinkles, we wanna turn back the clock. We don't wanna fast forward that, that mug. So um, I'm just gonna be sharing with you some products. I'm, I'll take you through sort of my progression of the routine. So what I do to sort of prepare to go out in the sun, because there is a little preparation involved. Just a little bit, just teens, just teens a bit. And uh, what I use while I'm outside in the sun and I'll wrap it up with how I do my recovery treatments and the things that I like to use when I'm back inside from baking. So if you're interested in seeing my sun care routine, please stay tuned. So the way I wanna do this, is I'm just gonna start from top to bottom. So we're just gonna start with our hair. The first thing that I like to do when I'm going out in the sun is people often forget their hair. So when we're talking about SPF, there's no SPF actually that is, there's no such thing as SPF for, for hair because when we're speaking about SPF, SPF is a term that is associated with skin. So there really isn't an SPF for your hair. However, I do like to use a UV protectant and this is a great one by Chlorine. This retails for $18 at Sephora and it is the Sun Radiance Protective Oil with Lang Lang Wax for sun exposed hair and it has a UV protector. So this is supposed to be waterproof. It's good for if you're going swimming, you spray this in your hair prior to going out, whether it's dry, whether it's wet. I like to spray this all over. So if I'm getting in the water, it's just an extra barrier between me and that chlorine or me and the salt water or me and the UV rays. And this is, like I said, this is by Chlorine and it's $18. Um, it kind of has a weird smell. It smells like, you know, back in the day when you would get like those bundles um, of hair and they kind of smell like baby doll hair. So it has like a soft, like baby. Yeah, it definitely smells like a baby doll. Um, it doesn't linger. So once you spray it in, you don't smell it anymore, but it has that real soft, like baby doll kind of um, scent to it. So if you don't like it, you know, it, I, I would suggest not get it. But it, like I said, it doesn't linger. So moving on from hair, the thing that I like to prep for before I go out is obviously my face. So your face is, you know, probably the most important part on your body to protect from the sun. And there's a couple different things that I like to use before I go out. This, this is a holy grail item for me. I always, this is always in my medicine cabinet, always in my skincare routine. This is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with a sunscreen of SPF of 30. So I use this every single day, whether I'm going out in the sun, whether I'm going to work, whether I'm just running errands. This is something that I always apply after cleansing my face in the morning. Um, I, it's a favorite of mine because it doesn't leave a white cast. So unlike a lot of sunscreens and moisturizers, it doesn't sort of leave that white greasy film. So it starts off kind of white, but it really absorbs really dry. Don't pay any attention to the nails, they're gonna get done. It really dries down. It's not greasy at all. It has an SPF of 30 and you can pretty much get it anywhere. Um, it's probably about 13 bucks. I usually grab mine from CVS or Target. So another thing that I like to add or sort of layer on my face is I like to, so I am one of those people that like to be cute by the pool. You don't have to go out there looking raggedy like you're at the spa with your hair tied up. So I do wear a little makeup. I do do like a little sun beat, okay? So this would be like an example of like as much makeup as I was probably wear outside. And the one thing that I love, love to use is this Lancome Skin Feels So Good. It's a moist tinted moisturizer and it is has an SPF of 23 and this is in the shade honey so it actually looks a little dark or I'm, I'm, I'm probably matching the packaging a little bit better these days just because I do have a slight tan this is 
one of those products that when you put it on it may look a little dark but i would say that you could probably go a shade darker with this color a shade lighter or match because i was a shade lighter and it looked fine um i'm a shade darker and it looks fine and i think one shade deeper than me would be able to wear this product i I, I mean, this is a fan favorite of this. I haven't tried many tinted moisturizers. This is my first one, but I do like it a whole lot. I love the formula. It does have a very creamy texture. So here, I'll demonstrate. Like I'm almost done this bottle or this container. So it has like a creamy texture and you see how it just sort of blends in the skin. See? It's very moisturizing, it soaks into the skin. Um, I actually throw a little powder on mine and it looks flawless and it lasts all day. Sometimes I wear it over top of my Cerave or sometimes I just use it by itself. But either way, it's a fantastic product. I really wish they would expand the shade range on this just because I think it's such a great product. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It retails at Sephora for $35. I'm definitely going out in the sun. This is my go-to. This is something that I reach for. Another item that I'd like to reach for is the La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water. It's the mineral spray. So it has a really fine mist. So this is great for when I'm actually outside. I like to rehydrate with this. Cools your skin off. So you know, like if you were just like out on the beach playing your volleyball or whatever, or you know, frolicking around, whatever you're doing on the beach and your skin's a little parched, it's a little, it's getting to the point where you could start to feel a little burn. This is a nice fine mist to sort of Squeeze off. I mean, I carry this in my purse um, in the summer months just for hydration. And it says that you could use it on your babies, you could use it on your skin, um, you could use it in a more spa fashion and on your pulse points just to cool you off. But I, I am in love with this line. I use the cleanser on my face. It's easy to find. I got this from Target and it retails for $10. But this is a nice sort of beach bag item for you to take along and refresh your skin uh, while you're at the pool. And it also works really great to refresh your makeup as well. So. so now that we have sort of taken care of our hair and our face, we're good to go. Just a little couple items that I like to use to prep my body. I'm, I'm not a huge tanner, but I do like to catch some sun and get a little tan. So if I know that I'm gonna do that, I wanna prep my skin for that. And the, one of the ways that I do this by, is by using an exfoliator. So I have this one by Dove. This is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. This one is in the scent or flavor or whatever of the crushed macadamia and rice milk. First of all, the smell is amazing. Like I love this like kind of buttery scent that it gives. Um, it's, it's good to exfoliate your skin before you're going to tan, even if some people just do tanning boobs, or even if you're just going outside and you don't necessarily expect to lay out because of the heat, you really want to make sure that your skin and is nice and smooth so that you can absorb all the sort of sunscreens and moisturizers that you're going to put on. This is one of my favorites because a it's $5.99 at Target and b the granules are really really fine so it's not as scratchy as like you know i'm, I'm sure a lot of you have used the apricot um body scrubs before and those used to be like the old school staples but they're a little bit harsh on the skin i really like this one it doesn't burn like some of the sugar scrubs or salt scrubs so you don't have to worry about that and like i said it's five five ninety nine yeah it's five ninety nine at target so another prep item that I like to use on the body is just sort of like an old school favorite, old school brand. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Tanning Lotion Sunscreen. So this actually has an SPF of four in it. However, I would never just wear this and not put something over it. Four is definitely not enough to protect your skin from the sun, but I do like it. It's just it's just like an old favorite. I mean, I feel like my mom and everybody was using this brand when I was a kid, but it is moisturizing. It's not greasy and it's just sort of like a base layer for my actual sunscreen. So I would 
sort of do my body scrub, maybe put on a regular moisturizer. I put this over it. If I'm going out, I put this over it and then this would just be my, my base layer um, for my sunscreen. On to my sunscreen. The sunscreen that I've been using the Neutrogena line of sunscreens for a really, really long time. I had a favorite of the Cool Mist. I haven't been able to find it lately. It was like a, it had more of like a cooling sensation, but I love how fine this mist is. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen, and this one has a broad spectrum SPF of 100 plus. I mean, you are not going to get I mean, I, I, I like you basically under the, the invisibility cloak with, you know, with 100 plus SPF, which I love this. Um, they have this new like handle spray on it, which is kind of cool because you can actually spray it upside down. It does have that typical sort of tacky feeling on your skin, which is why I like to put something else between my actual skin and the sunblock. This retails for nine dollars at target so this is something that you would obviously reapply while you're at the pool and i'd also use my la roche posay uh, thermal spray just to sort of rehydrate so those are the kind of the things that i'm using constantly while i am outside so like during the outside situation now that you've baked you got that nice pop and glow that poppins hand one product that I love to use to sort of maintain and seal in that tan because the way the tan works and if you've ever been to a tanning salon they always want you to be moist they want you to be moisturized even if you're using like tanning solution they want you to be exfoliated because they want you to be even and blah 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 so these are all things that are important to maintain that glow one of my favorite body balms is by Maui babe this is let me just say so Maui Babe is 20 bucks at Ulta it's, it's a little pricey for some lotion however you get 8.3 ounces in it and a little bit goes a long way it has that like classic like fake coconut smell um, so if you like that beachy smell you'll definitely love this it contains cocoa butter, coconut oil, macadamia nut oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, aloe vera. So it has a lot of all natural oils in it. And like I said, a little goes a long way. So this will actually last you a long time. Sometimes I like to just use it as my regular moisturizer just because it smells so good. So maybe I'm going for a more um, warmer scent or fragrance, like a perfume or something. And maybe I'll just layer it on top of this. It has like a warm um, coconutty smell. But this is some good stuff right here. I think they have a whole like line of um, tanning products, so like oils and things like that. I, I ain't doing all that. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to fry. I'm, I'm trying to bake. You know, baking is better for you than frying. So um, yeah, this is this is good stuff. So after you have sort of nourished your body, you know, you're all nice and supple. A couple things that you want to do to maintain your recharged melanin in your face is you want to do a mask. A mask is going to replenish the moisture. It's going to soothe your skin. And one of my absolute favorite masks is the Sephora Watermelon after sun mask and this is five dollars okay so she is easy on the pockets and it actually comes with two masks so the first one comp the one the first one is one for your face and then they have one for your decolletage area so obviously this is the the next you know most exposed area on your body is like your chest area so you get those two parts to really maximize that moisture and get it back into your skin claims to be deep moisturizing and it is an immediate rehydration immediate immediate rehydration and it soothes overheated skin and it also contains a tan prolonging ingredient i don't know what that is but um they said it works and i like it, it smells good and it's five dollars so you guys know i love face masks this is a good one for post sun um facial care so after you mask your face or even during while or, or even during the time that you're masking your face i also suggest doing a little extra tlc for your hair so once you come in out of the ocean or the pool or just sweating it out by the pool um, 
you probably need to wash and condition your hair and one thing i do recommend is a deep moisturizing treatment just to sort of rejuge your hair for the same reasons that you do the deep moisturizing treatments on the rest of you you need to do it to those locks so one i love is actually a sheet mask for your hair it might be a little reflective this is 3.99 at target and this is the l'oreal paris ever pure sulfate free i don't know why there would be any sulfate in it it's a conditioner but it is the deep moisture hair sheet masking treatment and this is five minute hair spa for dry hair wash your hair you wrap it around you massage all the good stuff in you leave it on and then you rinse it out and go so that's pretty much it you know a couple other things that i like to do is i always wear sunglasses to protect my eyes i don't unnecessarily um sit out in the sun or at least i try to cover my face if i you know lay out my body just so my my face isn't getting so much sun but yeah you know those are sort of my favorite products to use don't necessarily want to use that brand of product or that type of product just sort of do an insert here so this concludes my video thank you guys for sharing another monday of beauty with me if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below don't forget to subscribe subscribe hit the subscribe button but thank you guys for coming back i'm glad we made it and we did some bomb ish on a monday take care bye bye